most challenging year out of the, out of the three. Um, just combined injuries and suspensions and uh, a bit of off-field stuff and, and um, you know, and, and also to say you've got, you know, nine or seven other clubs out there that are trying to trying to uh, knock you off the top. So, um, you know, a real challenging year um, and the boys have, uh, I think it was a lot of my young blokes have had to really step up quicker. Um, you know, you can maybe blood one or two and, and try and give them responsibilities off the bench and stuff like that with this year we've had to, I know in the first five rounds, you know, we had to throw Dan Leary in the ruck and had to have some, you know, some Jack Irvines and guys like this had to actually stand up and make an impact. So I think that's probably been the biggest thing is um, the young ones that have come in have, have had to um, make a total impact straight away. We, we haven't had time for them to, to sort of find their feet. They've had to come in and make an impact straight away. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way the, the young kids have, have sort of learned. Um, and the older blokes have, have um, had ups and downs, I think, this year so far. Um, but I think in the last couple of weeks, their leadership's been really good and, and hopefully that extends on, on Saturday. At the start of the year, when you say if someone had said you know playing in a grand final, we're more focused at the start of the year about you know rebuilding a football club from the ground up, um, you know the grand final appearance and and potential results really just the uh, cherry on top, and um, you know probably something we were building for in particular for next year, we probably you know got there a bit quicker than we would have hoped. Yeah, look, oh, first of all, it's def definitely no part of it's uh, easy. Even the last two years, you know, you last two years the, the rivalry we've had with the Rock has been pretty ferocious and. Um, so it definitely hasn't been any part of it's been easy, but yeah, it gives you a good understanding and you know you, you could be some other clubs go through a rebuilding process and, and go all the way down to the bottom um, before they have to go back up. So for, it's given me a good appreciation of, of having to battle through with, uh, with injury problems and suspensions and stuff like that. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm really proud of the boys that they've been able to rebuild um, and still be able to stay up top. I think it's been a huge effort from the group to, to finish top and now in another grand final um, when they probably could have been forgiven for, for dropping off the pace. And, you know, we lost a lot of experience with Blackers and Mickey Oliver and the Reed brothers and we lost a lot of experience. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, um, as I said, as a coaching staff, it's probably been our probably best year. You know, to be honest with you, because we um, we've had those challenges. Oh, look, there's no pressure because we've got so much more to improve on. Um, you know, we've talked about it as a group. Um, you know, we got 20 odd new footballers into our football club this year, um, all bringing in their own, you know, own special traits. I suppose we had a whole group of boys that had been there for a long while and hadn't seen a lot of success. Um, so there was a there was a lot of you know getting to know each other early on, and you know certainly our early results showed that. But as far as where do we go from here? My goodness, we got we got a hell of a lot of football that we can improve on you know our game style is still very basic um, our skills stand our standard of our skills are you know still not where they need to be um, but in saying that we've been fortunate enough to you know get where we need to go so we're, we're sort of you know very aware and appreciative of the work that all our boys have done you know and all the people at the football club on and off the field at the moment to to put us in this sort of position but yeah we we see this you know result of or the game on the weekend really is the start of a journey not potentially the end of one. A little bit different because we've um, the last two years we've gone straight through, so this is we've we've had to go through the prelim. Um, I've been through the, a prelim before, uh, and so I've, so I've got a little bit of an idea of, of how I wanted the week to, to be. Um, so, you know, you've got young blokes in your side. Um, I'm sure it's with every club when you've got young blokes in, they sort of question whether they're up to it in finals footy and stuff like that. So it's just once again been a learning. You know, the first game we played against East Wagga was was good because we were able to young blokes could see that they could do it. Um, you know, and, and then last week I thought the whole group really understood, you know, that they were right on the fringe of, of, of creating something pretty special. So um, as of second half of last week and, and the attitude this week's been pretty good. Um, and, I, you know, I think they're, um, you know, they're pretty fired up and pretty close to, to something special if they can do it. Yeah, look, I think every footy club has its ups and its down. Everyone goes through their cycles. Uh, I think, you, you know, Shane talked about before, it's been a long while since we've, you know, our club's been in a grand final, let alone won one. Um, and every club goes through those ups and downs, and we potentially had a far, you know, um, too long down at the, at the bottom. Um, when you're down at the bottom, obviously decisions that you make, you know, don't always help at times. And and look, we've been building, you know, quietly out at Gumley now for for a number of years on the work of, you know, Chris Jackson and Richie Robinson, particularly in the early stages. You know, a few years ago, really started to move it forward. You know, um, and that's just built nicely into to sort of where we're at at this point. You mentioned Jacko, how. Uh how important is he for you to have on the field, and also how nice is it for you to see him uh, see him playing when the team's going so well? Yeah, look, absolutely fantastic for, to see someone like him that's put in the hard, you know, unrewarded work, you know, hard yards, 
Um, and, and again, he was the first player I went and spoke to when I sort of you know came into the club at the start of the year because for me, you know, this is what it's all about. My enjoy, my personal enjoyment level, you know, out of what we've done is is about seeing him get some success for the work that that he's done in the in the last few years. As far as on the field, well, he's probably had one of his best years he's had for ten years. You know, I last coached him back in 2001 when he was the AFL Canberra centre half back, and I, I think he's actually marking the ball and potentially moving a bit better than he was back then. He disagrees, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Look, we we, um, we know pretty clear that we, we're probably going as underdogs. Um, you know, we, we haven't beaten them all year, and um, they've given themselves a great opportunity with the, with the weekend off. Um, but we've we're still pretty confident. We've got uh, 14 guys that have played in back-to-back premierships. So as much as we've got a you know good mix of young blokes there, we've also got 13 or 14 guys that know what it takes. Um, they know the extra level that they have to go to. Um, and it's, you know, as Gav would say, probably only needs to click once. Um, you know, Eastwog have been able to have a really good run over the last 10 to 12 weeks and, and you know, have done everything right. So for, from our point of view, we, we just hope that it all clicks on the one day. Um, we've sort of been a bit patchy in areas this year and, and if we can get it all clicking on one day, we feel like we're as dangerous side as what there is going around. So um, if we can get it all clicking on Saturday, we, we had a good, really good second half last week um, where we had to... You know, we, we dug deep, which was a really good sign going into a grand final because, you know, grand finals are... It's probably one of the... Probably the most unskillful game of the year, a grand final. So you need to have a bit of guts and a bit of fight about you. So, um, look, we're, we're hoping that we can um, provide that on Saturday. Does that mean you're going to put on a stink? <laughs> um, yeah, look, no, we'll, we'll try and play... Um, try and play... I think both teams have played in a good good spirit and, um, you know... Uh, yeah, grand finals with um with no fights and no that a uh, really good grand finals, aren't they, Shane? So that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, look, it's it's fantastic, particularly given that you know the start of our season when we all got together, you know, potentially in January once we had our list together, you know, we got out and had a camp together and and we really built a, a culture around the fact that you know nobody in our football club's any more important than anyone else, you know, be it Rob or myself in the roles that we hold or the guys that run the water or the twelve year old boys that run the boundary for us in the seventeens. And we really sort of worked hard on that, um, that everyone just has a role to play with our football club. It's no different to the football side on the weekend. Everyone's got a role to play on the day on the field, but there's lots of roles being played you know, off the field. Um, we all contribute to the greatest success of the football club. Um, and it'll be, you know, obviously just up to 22 boys or, or 44 boys this weekend and a netball grade to, to try and get some success for all of that work. So there, yeah, the vibe's feeling really good. You know, we've... We've sort of pushed on, we're focused on it being round 20, you know, we, when your first and second grade sides are playing the same same team in a, a grand final, there is an element of, you know, it's round 20, obviously there's a different prize at the end of round 20 than there is at the end of any of the other rounds, but, you know, as far as preparation goes, I think last night, I think I said to the boys, it's nice to see 30 or 40 boys on the track, and up past five instead of, you know, 20 to six, so... Um, so a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of people coming from all over Australia this weekend to, to support the club. Um, so, yeah, from that point of view, it's been a, it's a really consolidating year for, for the football club and allowing a lot of people to re-engage with our footy club this year has been probably one of the highlights. Oh, yeah, it is. You know, um, probably the team and individually it is, like as in the individual players. You know, you get a massive buzz out of seeing kids that have, were playing under-17s last year that have been training with you for two years just dying to get a chance to play senior footy and, and the doors opened up this year for a lot of those players. You know, we've got players that have, we've got reserves players that have played reserves footy for two full years and finally got a chance this year and now all of a sudden they're playing in a grand final. So it is, I've got, you know, Mark Bruce too, did his knee, uh, broke his leg in a prelim final to a semi-final two years ago. It was 10 minutes away from a grand final. Uh, missed the first one. Last year he decided to have the year off and run water and Luke won one. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, that's a real buzz for him to play in his first one. He's played, you know, 150 games for the club. Jason Reid, who I had to drop from last year's grand final side, you know, he's probably in our top three players this year. Um, you know, for him to turn around and do the pre-season did after getting dropped for a grand final and, you know, two of his brothers played in it, you know, it would have been really good. But... So they're the parts that, and I think Gav touched on it, that's, as a coach, that's the excitement. That's the, you know, I'd love to see those guys succeed and the five or six kids from under 17s that are just trained so hard, um, I'd love to see that. That's, you know, that's um, that's going to be really, really special if it happens. And, and if not, the experience for them is going to be great. I'm, I'm pretty proud of what the, what the group's been able to achieve this year. I'll be honest with you, we haven't had the luxury of, of actually having been able to worry a lot about the opposition side. Look, we all know how, how the sides play generally. Um, we've had so many new players into our side this year that our greatest sort of area of improvement is the things that we can 
can do from within the individuals within our side. Um, you know, potentially that's a next year conversation for us where we know exactly what we're getting out of every individual in our side, and um, then you're looking for extra extra avenues against you know individual players from the opposition. So we've said it all year, and it, it's a genuine truth that you know, like I said, we, I still I'm still expecting our players to improve on Saturday based on the last game that they've played um, because we're still new, we're still green. We're still learning about each other. I mean, you know, we've only had played 15 or 16 games together there at the moment. So um, a lot of those boys, you know, so, um, you know, so we, we, our improvement will come from, from within. And um, as far as tomorrow go, mate, outstanding side. They've got the runs on the board. Um, we're certainly trying to obviously get our club and our side to the level that, that they have. You know, they've really set the standards around football, netball, mm -hmm. off the field. And, um, you know, and, and from our club's point of view, we think we're well on the way with our football and our netball and off the field. But, you know, our under-17s, we've still got to work to, to get to a tomorrow standard at the moment. I'm on the same line as Gabby. We, we haven't lost, uh, we've lost games this year. So unless we went into it undefeated and, and whatever, you know, we, we've got some improvement to do. Last week we were level at halftime with Mara, found ourselves a goal down, you know, at the start of the third quarter. So we're in no... In no shape are we in a position where we can tick off our game plan and say, yeah, let's just focus on what East Wagga are doing. We obviously have some areas that we'd like to shut them down in, as Gab's probably got for us. But for me, I've got um, seven blokes that are playing in their first grand final. You know, Gab's got some blokes on his side that are probably playing in first grand finals. It, it is, 90% 90, 90 of it is what we what we do. How, how, do. how do we get the best out of our team for the sad day and, and how do I... How do you get the best out of these young kids that are coming through and make them relaxed? And, and, and you know, how do I get guys that have won a couple, you know, motivated and all that sort of stuff? There's a lot of that stuff that, that happens throughout the year. So, you know, we had, just, I think we had a meeting on Tuesday night, uh, last night at the club uh, for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I think it was, on, on discussing the East Wagga side. Um, the rest of the time was about recovery and getting your boys feeling good. And I you know it's a bit boring, but that's, that's the actual truth of it. A lot of it's, you're not in any position, we're not undefeated and we're not. You know, we've lost to East Wagga three times, so we've got to make sure our game's um, up to scratch. In that 10-minute discussion, who was the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Gav. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried to work out... Uh, Coming off the bench. <laughs> yeah. no, yeah. I tried to work out how to stop him. No, um, oh, look, we, there's players. Of course, there's players, you know, they've got some good players. Geffert's obviously um, a good player and a form player up forward for them. They've got some really good midfielders um, running through there, and... and in a pretty strong back line. You know, they've got a really strong back line that's held us down pretty well each game. So we've got to make sure, you know, we can get some good delivery in there and some boys can, can hold their grabs when it gets in there. You know, same as, you don't get in a grand final for having two or three gun players. Mm. You know, East Wagga got a really strong, some of their small half forwards and stuff like that are pretty dangerous as well. So I, we went through that last night and, and players have got to beat their player. You know, and that's just pretty clear. And then we've got to concentrate on making sure our players are winning their position and I think Gabby would be in the same position. You, you don't you don't get in grand finals because they've got Gabby at full four. There's a lot of other stuff going on up the field that um, you know, we'll try and combat but and hopefully combat it with the way we play, which would be good. Oh, absolutely. You know, I think as Mark knows he's been in, in uh, plenty of recent ones, but Grand finals are really just, um, we, we particularly both start from scratch. All you do is take in a bit of confidence out of what you've done in the past, um, you know, whatever, whatever that confidence may be. Um, but at the end of the day, that confidence or those previous results, they guarantee us nothing, they entitle us to nothing. Um, it's literally about obviously what you can execute on the day is whether you're gonna, whether you're gonna get the chocolates or not. But, um, but yeah, look, it's certainly, you know, to, to, have, to have won three times, you know, to have won our way through with a week off, you know, to have had a list together now or a same side together for probably eight or ten weeks um, with, with zero injury concerns. Um, the opportunity for, for East Wild Kringle to win a premiership doesn't probably get any better than this as far as a preparation goes. But, you know, grand finals are funny games. Anything can happen and, you know, our boys have just got to focus on, on winning their first contest and, and winning that early part of the game and, and moving on. Yeah. Is Matt Hartley right to play or is he... Was he injured last week? Yeah, he got a little bit of a knock on the knee and a little bit of hyperextension, so he'll be fine. He's, you know, he's, he's done his re recovery as he, as he is. You know, um, that's we've played. Um, you know, we, we got the week off two weeks ago. We played two games in a row. So there's going to be blokes that are going to be a bit sore, and that's grand finals. Um, you know, that's uh, we, he'll be a bit sore um, as uh, as you think, um, but he, he'll pull up fine. He'll train. Um, he'll train Thursday night and be and be ready to go. Um, and he's a, he's a pretty important part part of our, our squad, and, and, and as long as he can play his role, um, we won't take anybody in that we don't think can play their role. Um, so um, he'll be fine. He'll he'll absolutely be ready to go.
Um, well, it's probably yes and yes to, to answer your question. Yeah, I did come in with a particular style of football that I was looking to play, um, but it wasn't an extensive brief, if you like, early because obviously with so many new footballers coming to our club, bringing different skill sets, um, I really hadn't seen a lot of them, you know, together. So um, I think you know we were two and three after five rounds and uh, looking pretty ordinary. Um, we made some pretty significant sort of structural changes then and, and really just altered the style of football that we play to suit the assets that we had. Um, and it's worked brilliantly ever since. Um, so we've sort of got now a starting point for that. Um, it's a very uncomplicated, unsophisticated style of footy that we play. Um, we call it blue collar gummy football. And, um, you know, and that's been the basis of it. And I think to answer your question before, that's what we look to build on, you know going forward but you know we, we're confident that blue collar gummy football is enough to get us over the line at the moment you did mention knee injuries before <laughs> what's the go of yours you're not playing no, no not at this stage any late changes possible uh no not not at this stage it's only wednesday okay. <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> see how we yeah, go yeah not a problem good luck man yeah you too mate all good best. luck thank you yeah.